I'm Conchetta. I'm Constance. And this is C and C Style Me. And today we're talking with the awesome premier couple, our Blink sister. Your name? Oh, me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, she introduced me. Uh, I am Mandy Brown. I'm Brandon Brown. Yeah. Cool. So today we're going to ask them a couple questions about the business. And Mandy is going to give us a great style show yes. at the end of this Don't interview. Yes. So first question, guys, is how long have you been with Premier Designs? Um, I just celebrated my five-year anniversary. So Ooh. I've been with the company for five years. Wow. Beautiful. Great five years. Awesome. Absolutely. And how did Premier choose you? How did you get connected with the company? Um, I was doing fundraiser. I had I was doing rescue work, animal rescue work, okay. and I ended up meeting a woman who was doing it too, and I held a fundraiser at my house, and I kind of said, you know what, I can continue to give more money that I wasn't able to do on my own mm -hmm. by having fundraisers and being able to, you know, share some bling and then also donate more than That's I was cool. able to. That's cool. Awesome. Oh. Fundraiser. Cool. Yeah. That's so nice. So don't forget, guys, mm -hmm. we do fundraisers. Yep, and the great thing with Premier is that because we make 50%, yeah. we can give more than a lot of other organizations right. can because we do, Premier gives that. And that's another thing that I loved. As I grew in Premier, I learned that Premier was actually started with a purpose, mm -hmm. and then the product came afterwards. So I really felt like it lined up after with us because we had started with a purpose. We wanted to be able to give back, and then we found out that Premier has, you know, and if people don't know it, they've given over $120 million to various, you know, charities all over over the world and missions all over the world and just the short little three so decades true. they've been together so, so true cool. yeah. premier designs changed your life guys well I mean I feel like it's given us one is it's given us so many different opportunities in general um, to meet new people and um, to kind of witness in that way but we also like 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 she mentioned before stewardship has always been a big part of our life mm -hmm. and our relationship mm -hmm. and with the fundraising and the interpersonal relationships we make through the company, mm -hmm. we have been able to just expand the stewardship that we get to do and be able to do more work for God in a real way. Wow. Yeah. And you know what? I have found so much confidence in myself because, you know, I was somebody who, you know, style wasn't something that I thought came easy to me until I realized it comes easy for everybody. You can be wow. stylish. Um, and it gave me confidence. You know, when I started with Premiere, I didn't realize that I needed something. I didn't realize mm -hmm. that, like, I needed something for myself. And I think a lot of us as women, we get through that hustle and bustle of the day and we realize, like, we forget about ourselves at the end of the day. I like and in, that. Uh, yeah. I like that. In this, I get to hang out with a bunch of really inspiring women. Mm -hmm. And if, you know, especially, like, girls like oh, you guys and stuff. So and sweet. people that I would never meet in a normal setting. I'm meeting women from all walks of life. And, you know, Brandon gets to meet husbands that are just wonderful, too. Yeah, so we have this really great, I mean... That's I really true. think what it's done for us as a community has really, yeah. that's, it's really. I would like to say, I mean, as, I remember when she first got into this and I went with her to one of the, one of their training events that they, they have one every month. And the first time I went there, I was genuinely baffled at the amount of positive, mm -hmm. real, like faith, confidence, supportive women that are just. They constantly are pushing each other to, to be better, That's to so understand Absolutely. the strength that they have within one another, and they make themselves beautiful because of it. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. And I was like, oh, I need right. friends like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he comes to all this yeah. stuff. That's why he's such a part right. of my business now, because right. he was getting all that warmth that we have. You know, it's mm -hmm. women supporting women, and I don't think, I think we get that gets lost in the world sometimes. So yeah. we have that in this great group that we're in. Mm -hmm. Okay, how do you fit in, Brandon? How do I fit in? How do you just, fit in with Mandy? <laughs> I fit in anywhere I go. <laughs> no, honestly, okay, this is actually with Mandy uh, and Premier. What are you fitting the, in? The the question that you're that you're posing to me is one that I've actually had with the VP of marketing. I've had it with um, other leaders and okay. above us from the organization, yeah. and I've been given the great advice from them. And there's the role for me would be the role for me is is basically to to do whatever I can to help free her up to be able to go out and make more connections to wow. make to to so she can be out to witness more to more people like and not only that but she because like you said the, the community of yeah. women that that 
Yeah. That you are. Yeah. A lot of yeah. times you guys need help from each other, and you you need the that leadership, so and you need nice. the help, or you just need the support of one another. And right. So if that means like get out of here, girl. I'll stick with these catalogs. I'll oh, wow. put this away for you. I'll carry this to your car, even if it's something small like that. Like that's yeah. something that I can do. But at the same time, sometimes it's just me bending the ear of a friend that mm -hmm. I understand who needs some help, mm -hmm. or maybe you know, you just it's, gotta listen. My job is to listen to God and and help her and stay out of her way. <laughs> um, I sense. think that it's like the most beautiful personal assistant that anybody yeah. could ever Literally have. Literally the most beautiful yeah. assistant. <laughs> because I, he's yeah. my partner in life yeah. and we all, I'm also able to say like I might have a conference call or right. I might be doing something like this and he, you know, I might be thinking, oh no, I have to do some social media posts or mm -hmm. I have to do some, you run to the post office. I mean, they yeah. know him at the post office more than they know me <laughs> because it's such a thing. So it frees up me to be able to do some time and he's such a great support, you know. Wow. We had this really great great um uh, session with this uh, couples and mm -hmm. that we mentor and the guy one of the guys said that you have to pray with your partner because you have to know what keeps them up at night mm -hmm. yeah. wow. and I really love that so I think that that this has brought us closer with that because now he hears what keeps me up at night like something like yeah. I hope the girls are being supportive mm -hmm. I hope you know you feel the confidence yes. to do that and yes. he hears that and he's able to a lot like give me that cheering so, so I really nice. love it and also he's like a, my assistant also yeah, like <laughs> oh, my wonderful assistant <laughs> It's I good to have this. a strong arm. I know, I know exactly. Like she said, I know the woman at the post office name, and I know exactly how to order a, a skinny, upside down. <laughs> <From macchiato. Macchiato. laughs> <laughs> he knows how to do that, right? I think he put in orders for me too. I've shown him how to do all skin. the back office stuff. <laughs> okay, so Brandon, it's your show. It's all yeah, about you yeah, now. Yeah. So this question is for you: Is it beneficial for husbands to work? with their wives in premiere absolutely okay <clears throat> for um, for a bunch of reasons and one you ladies are all business owners mm -hmm. now if i ran my own business and i was expected to do everything run a cash register deliver yeah. the mail right. do all these different things i would right. be tasked out right. fast right. so i will be your laborer <laughs> i will whatever <laughs> like you might like as a husband you can there's there's so many things you can do to help support your you know your partner but i think that just being able to let them shine keep help so, so they can keep themselves organized yeah. and yeah. and in a way like like i go to the grocery store that's just that's just my own thing that's just fun for me to do i, I like to cook and i like to shop but wow. i i don't leave my house without having her cards in my pocket mm -hmm. Or pens, and I usually when I'm at the post office, I'll be talking to somebody. They'll have like their passport application in their hand. I'm like, where are you going? We're going on vacation. I'm like, oh, I'm on this cruise. I'm like, I was just on a cruise this past month with the company that my wife works for. What's your wife do? I'm like, well, that's why I'm here. I'm sending out jewelry. Here's your card. Like, I'm gonna, we're going to the beach for like you know, we're gonna yeah. go to the beach because it's our honeymoon. I'm like, you know what? There's some stainless steel pieces we just got that you can wear on the beach. Yeah, you don't worry about them getting messed up, you know. So just pay Better attention. <laughs> pay attention to the product. Yes. Yeah. Pay attention to your partner and understand that like my role wouldn't necessarily be the role of, of all other husbands, you know what I mean? But these are some some examples of what you could do to get in there and do it. But but I I, like I know that. what to do because I pay attention to what she needs. I like that. Yeah. 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 So Mandy, now that you're speaking on that, how do you encourage women to find their style? Um, well, I think the thing is, is that we all have it. It's already in our closet. And I think if you can go into your closet and like we do sometimes and start pulling pieces that are already there. Cause like I realized when I started loving style that I did have a lot of like funny shirts mm -hmm. and I did have a lot of like outerwear that yeah. like made me feel comfortable with my body type. And then all of a sudden I realized there's style in here. Right. Okay. If I put that with this and that with this, all of a sudden it's there. So I think that it's already inside of us. And yeah. so I think yeah. it's really easy to like find that little sparkle. You know, I like to say that we accessorize from the inside out. Yeah. yeah. Because I believe that we, you know, can find all those things inside that we have inside ourselves. And just by throwing on a couple things that just gives us the confidence at the end of the day, it's all, I love when a, um, a customer or if I'm at a hostess's home and I'm pulling out some outfits from her, when she puts them on, she's like, I didn't, oh my gosh. I would never wear something like this. Right. And I'm like, yes, you would. It's in your closet. Yeah. If you would never wear something like this, it's sitting right there. So I do. I think that we have our style inside of there and are already lit in our closet. Sometimes we just don't even realize it's there. I like those tips. Mm -hmm. You already have it in your closet. Mm -hmm. 
and you do have style mm -hmm. you just have to wear what you have mm -hmm. so it's all from the inside out mm -hmm. that's a beautiful tip and, I like and that. goodwill yeah, yes. we were just talking Please. about other people's style that they don't that they discard. It's not for them anymore. Could be your style sitting right there for like three dollars. Yeah. Like I'm mm -hmm. not afraid to go to a Goodwill and find a piece of clothing that is so my style, and now I can see it because I know like this. I've been like, where is this? It's so beautiful <laughs> because it's something that I would wear. So yeah, I think it's. I tell people like you don't have to have a t ton of money. You like you don't have to you know mm -hmm. go and buy all of these fashion elements that you may maybe are a little bit over your head, you can start small yeah, at just yeah. finding a couple of those pieces of good goodwill. Tips. Yeah. Good yeah. Like, tips. Like she said, like you own you own clothes already. Right. Premier, mm -hmm. Premier makes this jewelry versatile for a reason. So mm -hmm. you can wear it a bunch of different ways while you're wearing the same outfit a, a different way. All mm -hmm. you have to do is look at your, your start looking at your clothes like you look at this new jewelry you're buying because yeah. you can wear it a bunch of different ways. Mm -hmm. no. Okay, like so it. last question. Yes. How do you identify your style? Oh, it's anything that I feel. Gorgeous. I, you know, beautiful. I use the. Oh, that's so cute. Come on. Enough. I mean, enough. Let me get no. the tissue. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I, um, I use the word sexy a lot, mm -hmm. and I use it in just how I, f like, in a, a feel of like just feeling very feminine. Okay. I mean, when I put on an outfit and I feel yeah. like a woman, that's how I know I've nailed. Yeah, where I'm look. at yeah. whether it be like you know like I said I'm not only am I wearing a print sh shirt with ice cube because I'm a pretty uh devout hip-hop fan but I also <laughs> can look at my shirt and remember fan. today was a good day like I yeah. can think about that and I I wear this a lot when I need a little bit of confidence in myself because I hear that song in my head and know that today all the steps I can take to make it a good day. day so when I put something on and I feel that in my mind what my version of sexy and feminine mm -hmm. like that's how I know I've nailed an outfit because I feel I just feel it looking in the mirror awesome I love that this was so great to get to know the rounds y'all yes. and if you don't know already how awesome premiere is yes. I hope this is encouraging you all to go into your closets Find your inner style. First of all, identify it with how you feel on the inside, inside. and yeah. how you want to express that with your clothes. Mm -hmm. And not only that, remember what they say in stewardship and giving. Mm -hmm. We always want to make sure we've spread that positivity to everyone in yes. the world. So when you encounter someone at the grocery store, in the uh, checkout lines, at work, remember to always mm -hmm. have a smile and to be generous. And guess what, Mandy? is going to show us how to spread yeah. a little bit more of that happiness and these cool graphic tees and how to make these things look awesome in your everyday looks. Yeah. So stay tuned for her Straight. style show next. Bye. Bye, guys. Hi guys, welcome to my style show. I'm really excited to show you a little bit about my style and a little bit about what I wear this fall. This is kind of just, we just pulled from my closet. I am a print top Girl. I love to be and not just even print tops but casual tops. I love the idea of being able to put on just a t-shirt or a fitted top and throw some sort of outer layer on it and some jewelry and feel as comfortable as I possibly can but also feel and look fabulous. So a couple looks that I'm going to show you today. I'm going to mix and match these print tops and some of my fun shirts that I have here so you guys can kind of see. So let me get started. The first thing is one of my favorite shirts that I have. If you can see it says always say yes to dancing. I mean that's just me it's just what I do right so I can wear this with a cute pair of jeans I can wear with a black capri I have I actually have a pair of black shorts that I wear with this outfit that I really love because I get kind of hot in the fall but I also like to have my sweater and I love my little sweater with pockets too so what I'm wearing on her now is rose gold rose gold is such a hot trend and here's something that's really interesting with rose gold you know it looks good with all skin tones so anybody who wears rose gold is gonna look good in rose gold so I have a couple different necklaces on here the first one on that I have on on here is I'm gonna take this off because this is one piece here if you are looking to add rose gold into your collection please get cashmere cashmere is a fun piece it comes like this look at this piece this is stretchy so you can actually take this off wear it as a bracelet you can wear it as an anklet because anklets are in and then also with this necklace I love to pull it up and wear it short up here too. Now you can grab one of our clippets that you can put behind here and toss it like that. And also, I love 
a twist on this necklace and putting that on like that. Look at how pretty that is. And then you saw this other piece here I have is called Soft Touch. And you can even add soft touch into there and you have this really great look, right? So any pair of our rose gold earrings, okay ladies, our new feather rose gold earrings are so beautiful. So they have them in this great copper rose gold and they also have them in brown and gold. And, um, oh, ladies, be still my heart with these fanfare. I mean, we have them also in black. So these actually come off, so you can wear just the, this beautiful stud. It's like a tea drop or a teardrop stud, or like this. And look at how cute that is. I mean, just throwing that on, it's a really easy way to elevate uh, just a plain tea. I'm gonna give you guys something to swoon over. <laughs> um, this is our necklace swoon here. I love it. I'm gonna show it with another couple of these pieces, but look at how beautiful that piece is. What I love about this is that these. These stones, even though they have a little color to them, they're also clear. So you can see through them and they're going to grab whatever you're wearing. So if I wanted to, I mean, I'm just going to throw this on a little later, but if I wanted to throw it on with black, it's going to pull a little bit more black here and I'll show it with gray later. And you know what, ladies, you can take this beautiful necklace. If this necklace is a big statement piece for you and just throw on our marble bracelet and you have a completed look again with just a print tee and a sweater out of your closet. Okay. So let's move over to cam over here. <laughs> this is Oh, you know what? One more. This is from the new collection. So I'm going to throw this on. Look at how fun that is, ladies. I mean, these pieces in here are gold and silver. And you have, the, again, that those really pretty gray color uh, stones that you can... Um, oops. Let me get this off here. And you can actually take this pendant off. And wear just plain if you don't want to have that pendant. And also, you can double this baby up. I mean, I love doubling up our necklaces. I love taking a long necklace and making it short because it's the easiest way to find versatility in our jewelry, okay? So <clears throat> let's move on to our another print shirt over here. So this is a football shirt for me. This is something I wear. I um, talk in smack. <laughs> um, so it's a printed tee and this is um, a Cam Newton shirt. So his team has a lot of blues and blacks in it. So I love pulling this uh, Cape Cod necklace. This is all one piece and it actually does come together like this. So you can wear it like that. You can double it up like we did with cashmere, but I love taking this and giving this this nice choker look because it has that black and blue like the Panthers. And you can have this long look in here. And I just think it is up here. Let me move this out of the way. This is my, I'm a Sox fan. I'm a South Sider, so I am a Sox fan. So I love to put on a nice tank top, especially this time of year, because how many of you get ready to go to a sporting event and then you get there and the temperature is totally different, especially in Chicago. Actually, I'll show you a little personal note here. This is my jersey from my bachelorette party. Um, I got married on uh, May 2nd. So they had this made for me, so it's got a 52 on it. And when we left, it was 75 degrees out. By the end of the game, it was 46. So everybody was like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so now I know to layer when I go to games. So I throw on a tank top and look at this jewelry. I mean, this is a statement piece. This is obviously gonna rock your world with the with the black and the white, but also what I have on. This hematite's gonna look great. <clears throat> I'll show you a little softer piece here. See, we put that one necklace that I knew I was gonna get all tangled up <laughs> in here. So if you wanted to put our dress to thrill on, such a beautiful piece and if it does does get hot look at I'm even gonna love this even more and you decide to take that jersey on you can actually turn this around and wear this as your choker and then have that coming down in the back there all right so how cute would that be if you're just like I'm at a game and I'm cute and look at how fun that is you know I really do I can dress up any sort of game look that I have here right let me pick that up so the next thing I'm going to show you is another one of my favorite print tee outfits to wear this is me in a nutshell. I think everybody should have a sleeveless duster for the fall because the temperatures change and I think this can really add into a great element with a t-shirt and I love it. I mean, I have dusters galore. You can see this is what a duster is, ladies, if you're wondering, this kind of like long look in through here. Always do this quarter, uh, three quarter length sleeves because the truth is, is that if you have material, and I wanna show you this because I have hips. So if I have material all the way straight down and I have my, um, 
my long sleeves, you're adding three to four inches on both sides to your hips. If you pull your sleeves up, you're gonna be exposing your skin and then it's not gonna add those that material inches. So when you're shopping for stuff like that, grab those three quarter length you know, sleeves and then you have you know, your elongating necklaces that you're gonna wear all the way down like this. It's gonna pull those eyes in. And so when we layer like this, what happens is you pull the eyes in and then you pull the eyes up. They come right in here and they come into our impact zones and that's where we want everybody. You know, what do we say? We want eyes, they want them on our eyes, not our thighs, our lips, not our hips, <laughs> So, and our ears, not our rear. So jewelry is able to do that even if you're just looking at the casual stuff you have here. So this is kind of my rock star look, okay? So this is just a printed MTV shirt. I was born in 1981, the same year the MTV started, so I feel like they started for me. Um, and I have just our preppy necklace on, great. This is designer inspired, so this is gonna look great. And then our new the light piece, which I'm gonna bring it just a little closer on there. It's actually a cross that's got, it's stainless steel. So you can take this on vacation with you, rock it on the beach, and you're not gonna to have to worry about having any issues with that. Same with our stainless steel earrings. I ran a 5K, okay, hold on, I walked a 5K. <clears throat> in these earrings yesterday because they're stainless steel so I don't have to worry about having um, any of those issues of any sort of like getting sweat on them or anything like that so you can do that with our cross necklace now I wear this with a pair of jean shorts and it's like my favorite rocker outfit I absolutely love it because I, I don't know I'm living in my glory days I guess but yeah something like this is easy I can even wear it with these black pants any sort of silver is gonna look good on this okay the next thing I'm gonna show you is another print tee this is my Tom Brady print tee you can see I love the sports, okay? So when you're wearing any of your t-shirts or your print tees, just throw a blazer on there. Throw a jean jacket on there. You take a white t-shirt out of your closet, as simple as a white t-shirt that you have in your closet, and throw a cardigan or a black blazer or a jean jacket on, and you are gonna have an elevated look automatically. But then you start throwing jewelry on there, okay? So the first piece I'm gonna show on here I love because it has all of the different colors in there. There's rose gold in here, there's black in there, there's gold in there, and silver. And so you can wear that with anything. I wear it with my giddy earrings, which are super fun if you just want to throw on a simple piece. I mean, this look, again, I wear a pair of jeans with this and I'm, I look elevated and I look like I'm ready to go. And three set bracelets is my, <laughs> is my favorite, okay? Look at this set. I mean, you really can't go wrong. This is called Love to Shine. You're getting a gold, silver, and a clear piece in there. And look at me, ladies, remember I told you I was gonna bring swoon back into this? Wait till you see how great the swoon looks on this gray. So start thinking right now, like, okay, so pretend that Tom Brady isn't on here and just think about the gray t-shirt that you have at home. You put this on, you grab your Marvel bracelet, your fanfare earrings or are light as a feather and you have a totally easy look that you can even wear to the office so if you're just having the gray t-shirt on and you put that on you are ready to go so I this is how I see my style all of the pieces that I have here on this table can all be mixed and matched into each of these in each of these outfits because just imagine this being just your plain gray shirt or your plain white shirt that you have here and you can mix and match all those pieces so this is what I'm gonna tell you look in your closet, see these beautiful gems that you already have. I was not somebody who wore a bunch of fancy stuff because I didn't have it. I had t-shirts and I had sweaters. And now and I have style door, even if you're just in your t-shirt jeans and a cute jacket. So don't be afraid of your personal style because it's in your closet already. And then you can just take a little accessories and add a little sparkle to it. And then you're ready to take on the day. So thank you ladies for joining me. I hope you found some things that you can look in your own closet and say, hey, that is actually style that I can wear. And really, I believe you could take anything in your closet and dress it up with a little sparkle. All right, ladies. So next week, we are gonna get a style show and we are gonna get to know Miss Jenny Vaughn a little better. So make sure that you tune in.